first of all, uh, I don't think y'all y'all saw the pit team that y'all will get to see on down the road um, when they get some guys back. But uh, I couldn't be pr more proud of my guys, how hard they played. Um, from I think Pitt scored the first basket and we made it three, and I think I don't think we gave up the lead after that. So for however long that was, uh, 39 minutes, uh, I thought we played pretty well and together and um, uh, I'm just proud of that collective uh, of them and if you knew what a guy goes through at the Citadel on a daily basis um, what their life is like wearing a uniform and getting, form getting up at formation at 6 30 in the morning and the only two hours of happiness they have is me screaming at them at practice um, those guys if you come in and be the ACC team is pretty special to them and as their coach it's really special to me to uh, have that happen for them. Um, but uh, I thought Jason Roach was fantastic. He, best thing about Jason is he's a freshman and um, this was his first college basketball game. So um, we probably wouldn't have got him without COVID. We recruited him. I never saw Jason play live, recruited him off Zoom calls. And um, he ended up playing really, really well for us tonight. Questions for Coach? Yeah, what, what did you see in those first three minutes where you built that lead that you're able to take advantage of? Well, um, we're, we're always going to be the smallest dog in the fight almost everywhere we play, even in our league. Um, and I always try to tell guys, let's use that to our advantage. So I thought we were able to exploit a few mismatches. Um, we got Jason Luce, got him a couple threes that gave him confidence. We got Hayden Brown going, we got Steve Clark going, but they're so big. And I told the guys, the only chance we got is to keep them off the offensive glass. And I thought while we were scoring, we kept them off the offensive glass, which helped because a lot of times their offense starts once it goes up. And I thought we, at one time I looked at the thing, we had three offensive rebounds and they had two. We had 12 second chance points and they had two. So I thought, man, if this can continue, but they just started pounding into Hubley. I mean, he's a monster. We have no answer for him. We brought um, Owen Spencer, a kid in who played very few minutes for us last year, number 23, um, just to put a big body out there. And he about fouled out in four minutes. Uh, he actually almost played eight minutes, but he still had four fouls, but but he competed. So I think just getting off to a good start. I think anytime you play guarantee games like this, money games like this, uh, you have to get off to a good start. And, I, and I, thought, I thought we did. It seemed like every time Pitt was able to cut it to, you know, under double digits or nine or eight, you guys came back with a big bucket of threes. What about your team missing able to respond like that in big moments? Well, we just, I just kept yelling at them to get stops because I thought we'd win it on the defensive end. Our, our MO as a program has always been offense. Um, we've always played a pretty fast pace. And um, sometimes our guys get the mentality we just outscore people. But when you're on the road, that ball quits going in at some point in time. And I thought we had a little lull there right at 29 where it took us a while to get to 31. I think Hayden made the layup there and then. But, um, He's kind of our horse. We try to throw it into him um, as much as we can. And usually when it goes in his hands, good things happen. But um, it was just kind of persevering. Uh, the guys at every time out were looking me straight in the eye. They believed from the first media. I think the first media, we might've been up 10 or 11 and uh, they believed. And, you know, I hate to be Ted Lasso on you, but you know, I think that's why he put the, put the sign up. You got to have the battles believing that you can do this stuff. And um, I, I just thought, I thought they believed. And everybody we put in contributed. You know, we didn't have anybody, and as a coach, this doesn't always happen. We didn't have anybody we put on the floor and we had to yank, immediately yank him back out because he messed something up. So everybody that took the floor contributed. Uh, I was really proud of my bench. The referees told me twice I had to calm them down. Uh, the guys that don't play, they were so active. So it was a collective by everybody. You, know, you you had touched about the eight offensive rebounds earlier. Y'all finished with nine of them for 16 points or for, for 16 second chance points. You had talked about those size advantages too that Pitt has. What, what do you think allowed y'all to find success down there despite that that size uh, size gap and discrepancy? I just thought our guys just kept battling. You know, a lot of balls, you know, there were a lot of 50 50 balls. And with those guys, with Pitt, it's usually like a you know, a 60, 40 ball normally because they're so big, but multiple times we had guys with six arms in there reaching, grabbing, clawing, and our guards did a good job of running things down. And 
Um, tied him off a little point guard, number 13. I thought he stuck his nose in, so, and then Brent Davis, another guard. So Tyler had four rebounds. Brent Davis, uh, a two guard, had six rebounds. Jason, a guard, had five rebounds. So just helping the big guys. <laughs> and I used the, the term big guy loosely. Um, but just, we said guards got to stick their nose in, and I thought they did. I figure Pitt was probably a little bit of, of a tough team to, uh, to evaluate just since they have so many new guys in and guys who didn't play as much last year. But when you were planning for this game and preparing for it, what, what did you see that kind of gave you hope? What, like, what were some things that you saw, like, okay, if we take advantage of this or exploit this, we come out with a win? Well, um, we knew uh, about, uh, unfortunately, Nike getting hurt last week. You know, we knew about that, and then we knew about the unfortunate uh, situation with Horton. So we knew that the guard spot was limited, and they, but we, they still had a bunch of six, seven guys they could throw out there. We knew Gee was a stud. We kept watching film on him from Stony Brook. So we knew he was an absolute uh, monster, and we knew Hoogley was a beast, and all those guys lived up to that. We knew, knew Feeney, I mean, we knew he was a really good point guard, too. Uh, but it was, you're right. I mean, I think it might be a little bit of time before they find themselves because they need some more pieces uh, to come back. But, but uh, the Cable Brothers have been at it a long time, and I think they'll certainly get it figured out. But, um, it, again, it was, it was a collective by us. I, I thought we had very little answer for uh, Femi and Hughley, but I think we did a pretty good job on the other guys.